Um, I have been performing with Circus Juventus for 16 years now. This is my third um, August show. Um, I love steampunk, everything about it, all of the crazy gadgets and all of the made-up universes and everything. So I'm excited for just how everything's going to look and how it's all going to be together. What did, tell me about your role. So my character is one of the Eloy. We are basically, we're lizards, we're not very smart. Um, we kind of get by and scavenge and do what we can. And our, uh, we are eaten often by the Morlocks, so our whole kind of thing is to survive through the night. What's it like being up on those bungee trapeze? The first day, I couldn't keep my hands still. I was shaking so bad, I was so nervous, but once you get over that initial fear of kind of like just falling, it's so much fun to just let go and bounce around and flip around and just feel the wind in your hair. Clea, what are the differences when you're designing a circus costume? So, the biggest thing with circus is that your performer is moving all the time. The costume has to fit their body, that it's not going to you know, cause a safety risk or it's not going to inhibit their movement. These are the ones that they are more expensive because they are made for the person. I know a lot of these performers personally, so it's fun for me to go in and see, oh, th with this person's skin tone, this would look better on them. Oh, this person's body shape, they need this design to make them look as best as possible or oh they're not really you know super bubbly they like more of the dark hardcore stuff so let's give them this you know cool studs and whatever that to make the performer feel as good as possible to create the costume that would invoke that awesome performance.